Perfect eight minute boiled egg without boiling. My name is Jersey. Let's get started. I am using filtered water at room temperature and the eggs are from the refrigerator because I no longer have chickens that are laying right now. So I purchased these organic eggs from the store. Now when they start to float a little bit, you know they're getting old. Nine out of 10, when you boil them, they will crack open, which is fine. We're gonna be eating these tonight anyway. But that's funny, this is the same date as all the other eggs, and one is a half floater. Put your lid on, put it on high. Once it becomes to a boil, shut the power off. You can even take it off since it's an electrical burner. Put it over here and just let it sit for eight minutes. Then we're gonna cool it down and put them in a jar and put them in the refrigerator. And we are back. Now that it's just started to boil, that's all you need it to do is start boil. Turn off the power. Remove your eggs from the heat. Set your timer for eight minutes and that is it. And meanwhile, I'm gonna fill up this bowl of water. I do this once I start timing the eggs. I add an ice cube. And by the time these are done, after eight minutes, this will basically be melted. If I was going to shell the eggs right away, I would make this all ice water so it was solid, solid ice water so when the egg went in, it would plunge and crack. I'm not going to be eating these eggs right away. I'm gonna use them for dinner. So I only want to cool them down enough to put them in a jar. And that's what this will do. So I'll put that off to the side. My timer started and we'll be back in eight minutes. And we are back. The eight minute timer just went off. The ice cube is almost melted. Like I said, I didn't want to give it a super shock. If I was going to peel these right away, then I would have had more ice cubes in. These dough whisk, I use them for so many different things. Very versatile. Now the one that was starting to float, I thought for sure it would have cracked open during boiling. As long as they are touching the bottom, when they start to float, meaning they do not float to the surface before I start boiling them, then I will continue to cook them and eat them. If it was to float to the top like this ice cube, definitely wouldn't use it and I wouldn't even give it to my fur babies. And that's it. I'm going to cool these down. Save this water when it cools, both of this water. Put that in the compost or even your garden. I will probably water my tomatoes with it. And once I use the shells, I will use that also around the tomatoes. And that will be a perfect egg every single time. And we are back. It's been about 15 minutes. Water is very cool. And by the way, if you'd like to make this, I have a tutorial that shows you how to make it with and without power tools. I'll leave the link below. I started making a video yesterday and for some reason the camera would not work after I recorded it all. So these were the eggs I made yesterday. I'm just going to add these eggs in the bowl to this already jar of boiled eggs. Just take the egg and Dry it really well and place it in the jar with the other ones. And that's it. I'll save this water, I'll add it to the other water, feed it to the garden tonight. And then when I cut these up tonight for dinner, because we're going to have egg salad sandwiches for dinner, I will show you how perfect they come out. And we are back. 
few days later and a few eggs later. This is how I crack my eggs. I tap them on the counter and then on my cast iron porcelain sink, which has a built-in washboard, that's what I call it, I roll it along and then it puts a lot of different cracks into it. And basically, after doing that, it will peel in big pieces instead of a million little pieces. I find this works for me every single time. I like to give a real quick rinse just to get any little pieces of eggshell that might be on the egg off. Whether I'm making boiled eggs, deviled eggs, sliced eggs for salads, I always use this egg slicer cutter. It works, it makes it uniform, and I also feed my birds, which like the smaller pieces. This just makes it so convenient. Cut it, tap it, and it's that easy. Don't forget, save those eggshells. You can throw them in the garden tonight, put them around the base of your tomato plants. It will help with bugs and insects that like to climb up the bottom of your plants. You can use it for so many other things. I'll leave the link down below to the blog post on eggshell uses. And have a good day. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, share, leave a thumbs up, subscribe anything you can do to help me out. I would really appreciate it. Thank you and have an awesome day.